so when things go awry around you, you have to stay calm and you have to keep thinking, my expectation is from the Lord. And many times what you're praying for, what you're confidently expecting God for in uh, different arenas in your life, the enemy will come and work against that uh, to cause you to lose your faith or to cause you to go astray or to think that the Lord has forgotten you or doesn't want uh, this for you. So we have to really maintain our faith and our hope in the Lord. Hebrews 6, 18 and 19, so that we who have found refuge in him, in Christ, may find strong encouragement to hold fast to the hope set before us. Now, very powerful word here. So if we break this down, a refuge always has to be in the Lord. A refuge is a cover uh, from the storms of life. It's our shelter that we run to when things on the earth aren't going well for us. Remember, Jesus did say in John 16 that in this world, you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer because I've overcome the world. So there are going to be times of storms, obviously, but we have to set our mind that the Lord in any type of storm, when things do not go the way we would like them to go, and particularly when the enemy is using circumstances to to rob from us, to steal from us, to destroy us, uh, that we go to the Lord. We have him as our refuge. And where, what do we find according to scripture? We find strong encouragement. Remember, Jesus said, be of good cheer because I've overcome the world. Be of good cheer basically is take courage. Be encouraged because he said, I've overcome the world. What does that mean? When Christ is in you, the hope of glory, he will overcome through you. He will strengthen you and give you the grace to overcome every situation that you might find yourself in that is a negative situation we overcome things amen we overcome sickness we overcome bad reports we overcome outcomes that we weren't looking for through the through christ who loves us and so we have to stay very very planted in the word of god Uh, we have to make god our rock and our salvation we have to say i'm not going to be moved that's what the enemy wants He wants you to be moved emotionally to start backtracking in your life with the Lord. So remember, it is impossible for God to lie. We have this hope, confident expectation of the Lord, of the promises he has given us as an anchor for the soul. See, the soul does need an anchor. An anchor keeps things still. An anchor keeps things still steady okay an anchor will keep your soul from going adrift did you hear that and the anchor for us is the hope that the lord does not lie that we can find a refuge in him for encouragement and that we can have a confident expectation that he will give us what we are expecting him confidently to give us. See, hope is very powerful. 